Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan Wall. Welcome to a brief article review. The article is called Low Altitude High Resolution Aerial Imaging Systems for Row and Field Crop Phenotyping, a review by Sandhua Sankaran and Mark Pavick, 2015. The article is important to me because it discusses phenotyping in regards to plant genetics and remote sensing data. It also discusses image processing and image analysis. It touches briefly on GIS software and image classification specifically. So from here on out, I'll be discussing the main topics from the article and providing you with supplemental information from both the web and my own research. So let's get started. UAV's role in remote sensing and precision agriculture is growing. We can all agree that global food demand is expected to be doubled what it is today by 2050. Production environments and natural resources are continuously shrinking and deteriorating. Remote sensing data can be utilized in development of higher yielding varieties. Plant phenotyping is a rapidly emerging research area concerned with quantitative measurement of structural and functional properties of plants. Phenotype is a trait we can observe like eye color. UAVs can play a key role in crop phenotyping. And here I want to talk about some applications of remote sensing. As you see here, the type of image resolution you get from a UAV mounted sensor allows you to easily detect phenotype, expression, resistance to biotic and abiotic stresses on a cellular level, and agronomic issues that may limit the expression of the cultivar's maximum yield potential. And that was some Landsat data from USGS website to compare the resolution you get. This is an example of crop canopy health. Here's an example of estimating chlorophyll with a thermal sensor and a red band for an input for NDVI. In these next few slides, I've included some supplemental information that helps me understand light reflectance in terms of chlorophyll and plant health. Feel free to pause the video. After the article is done explaining some of the applications of UAV data and remote sensing, it goes on to discuss a little photogrammetry and I want to briefly touch on PIX4D and Agisoft PhotoScan. They're two of the most popular photogrammetry applications. They allow you to take a group of photos from a flight mission on a UAV from whatever sensor or bands and stitch them together. As far as phenotyping, this software allows analysis over an entire field rather than a single image. Toward the end of the article, the author mentions using geographic information systems to compile geographic data on corn. Here I've included two examples of GIS applications, ArcGIS, which I'm familiar with, and ERDOS Imagine. Both of these applications are great tools for remote sensing, photogrammetry, and GIS needs. So I've used a screen recorder app to record myself using the image classification tool in ArcGIS on a JPEG file. ArcGIS is pretty flexible though. You can use a GeoTIFF, a JPEG, any sort of image file and probably be okay. I'm zooming in very far on early growth corn and defining what pixels are corn, what pixels are green, and what pixels aren't. You might utilize this tool for plant counts, canopy cover percentage, geotagging problem spots in a research field. If you're interested in that, I'll be posting a video on ArcGIS image classification tools soon. It's the supervised image classification. Next, the article discusses a few sensors. Feel free to pause the video if you're interested in checking those out. The article discusses different UAV platforms, and keep in mind this is a 2015 article. And on this slide, I've included some important links. This has been a summary of low altitude, high resolution aerial imaging systems for row and field crop phenotyping, a review 2015. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check out some of the links. Like I said, I'll be posting more information on ArcGIS image classification in the near future. So come back and check that out. Please feel free to comment below or subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.